Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it's time for another Leeds United update. It's like a bus, right? You wait for one for ages, and then two come along at once. I'm going to try to keep you updated as often as possible, especially when it comes to any transfer news. So before we get into the video, please smash a like, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I don't think I do it oh, Arsenal no, started I like house on fire. Do it if Signing could, number two so for this new era. It's judgment day, people. Yeah! yeah! What did your boy tell you? It was never in doubt. Never in doubt. Don't believe in any so folks, it absolutely pains me to have to touch on this subject already. As quick as an excited I was about Mateus Kuna, it's quickly just unraveled because it seems now that Mateus Kuna's move to Wolves is a lot further down the road than we initially expected. And also, not only that, Arsenal have also entered the race as well. And it makes sense that they would do that. This was reported by David Ornstein on the Athletic Transfer podcast and now reiterated by Graham Smith as well of the YEP. Um, we know Gabriel Jesus could be out for about three months after his surgery. They need a striker, cut price deal. Mateus Kuna, 20-odd million. It's a, it's a mover, right? Plus, he'll want a big wage, which according to Capology on FB Ref, if just short of 60k, um, are Leeds United going to be willing to increase that? I'm not too sure. Is that pocket change for Arsenal? Yes. Is £20 million pocket change for them? Yes. It's really risk adverse, whereas us, where we are as a football club, it's quite risky, isn't it? Like to put that much money down, although we might see it and say 20 million is nothing. And I agree with you. But for someone like Arsenal who need a stopgap while Gabriel Jesus comes back, I mean, it's it's easy. It's pocket change. And of course, Mateus Kuna would definitely rather go to Arsenal who sit top of the Premier League, for example, than struggle in Leeds United. However, if Arsenal don't look to move, as I say, the main competition we seem to have is Wolverhampton Wanderers. And as is has been reported by a lot of reputable journalists now, that deal looks to be a lot further down the road. We know that they're after like a double swoop for Brazilian centre-back Felipe as well for around about £50 million. I said that to you yesterday. And it looks like Mendes has got involved as well. We know he has great links with Wolves. Although, although no direct links with Kuna, etc. But it's one that they think they can get done pretty quickly. So it looks like Leeds United might have entered the race a little bit too late. But not only that as well, Graham Smith's reporting that Leeds will monitor the situation, i.e. stay in touch with his camp but continue to focus on other targets. Graham's opening gambit was, we are currently working on other targets, which I as a fan don't like to hear coming from the football club. I think for me, Mateus Kuna would be ideal. Um, and I just feel that Leeds monitoring the situation means we'll make a move if no one else can get one done. But it looks like I say that Wolves are close to getting one done. So Leeds, are they ever really in for it? A lot of people said it in the comments, right? And said, listen, I'll believe it when I see it. Da, 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 da. I tend to be a little bit more positive in these sort of scenarios. I think, no, the club will do business. We will be all right. And I do think we will get players in the door. Whether or not they'll be up to Kuna's um, level remains to be seen. But Leeds United have been burnt before. Cody Gakpo, no one, just there's a long list of names, man. We don't even need to go there, do we really? Martin Terrier, a lot of them. People lighting it up at the World Cup that were once linked with Leeds United. Do you know what I mean? It, it pains me. And this, for me, seems like another one. It's a no-brainer. It's cheap. But look, as fans, we have to have trust in those that are running this football club. Uh, whether or not Radrazani's looked at it and said, ah, it's maybe a little bit too pricey for us. Can we not get someone else, you know, a profile of striker that's young, up and coming? We've seen it many, many times. And Graham did end, end his article with, it must be remembered that the mandate is not to sign that striker. It is to sign a striker, the right striker, at the right price. And of course, we have had positives. We've had Rafinha, we've had Melier, etc. But it doesn't always work out like that. JKA, for example, or players that you've missed out on, as I've mentioned previously. Um, my main worry is, and, and again, top work by Graham. This is another piece from him about Matteo Joseph and Rodrigo talking him up. Rad Razzani is the type of owner that if 
Jesse continues to say positive things about Joseph. If Rodrigo and his teammates are continuing to say positive things about Joseph, then he won't dip his hand in his pocket, folks. And my worry is that we do go the rest of the season relying on a young Mateo Joseph. I don't think it's the right, you know, um, tack to take. For me, we should be all over the Kuna one. But it looks like that's not going to happen now. You know, it looks like a lot further down the road with Wolves. And of course, Arsenal have entered the race as well. And no disrespect, if Arsenal come a knocking where they currently are, where the current trajectory is, it's a no-brainer. You know, um, you've got Martinelli at the football club. You've got Gabby Jesus at the football club. I'm sure Kuna would be all over that, right? So as soon as the deal was done, it looks like it's off already, folks. So we'll have to keep our ears close to the ground. Let's just hope that the football club don't go, oh, we'll just rely on Joseph and Perkins until Bamford comes fit because that's not the right thing we should be doing. Like for me, monitoring the situation means we're only going to do some business if he comes available at a cheaper price that we're willing to do. You know, and Wolves are willing to give them what they want, you know, and Arsenal definitely will be. So it's a little bit disappointing, but I can probably safely say now Matthias Kuna won't be pulling on a Leeds United shirt. Although I do think he will be playing in the Premier League, will probably sign an Omar. Kuna will probably get 20 goals and Wolves will stay up and we'll float with relegation and think, why didn't we just pay 20 million? We've heard it all before. I'm sorry to say it, that's just the kind of negativity I have with the current crop when it comes to transfers. But listen, hopefully they will uh, they will make me look silly and get someone better. But it remains to be seen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, folks, on the Kuna deal. Are you resigned to the fact that he's going to go? Are you worried that Leeds United will opt to just give you for a chance? Because who can forget, we do have two international strikers and the best young prospect the Premier League has ever seen. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Peace out. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.